Infinity One is eMetroTel's framework for the next generation of unified communications clients, providing team collaboration tools and applications for businesses of all sizes. You can access the Infinity One client from the URL of the UCX or the desktop application downloadable from the UCX. Enter your username and password and select login. You'll be taken to the interface of the Infinity One where you'll see channels and direct messages. Click on a direct message. You'll now have access to the phone client of your Infinity One. The right side of the Infinity One client has a multifunction toolbar that allows you to set various functions and features within the UCX Infinity One client. The client settings icon is visible only when the soft phone is displayed. The form allows you to configure the theme and number of keys for your soft phone. The soft phone icon displays the soft phone that is used for making and receiving phone calls on the Infinity One client. The device settings icon is to configure the input and output audio and video devices used by the Infinity One application. Pin messages displays the list of pin messages. PIN messages are public and can be viewed by all members of the room. STAR messages displays the list of STAR messages and are personal and only you can see them. The mentions icon displays the list of messages where you have been mentioned. The files list displays the list of attachments that have been uploaded for the room. The notifications icon is to configure the notification settings for the room. User info displays information about the user in a direct messages channel. Search allows you to search for messages in the current room that matches the search text. The info icon displays information and settings for the room. You can change the room setting here and also delete the room. There is more than one way to make a call using the Infinity One client. You may use and select a DSS button or busy lamp field button to dial the person directly simply by pressing the button. You may also go to your user lists on your direct message list, select someone and place the call. The phone book is a customizable thing that you can put together for yourself to add users. You may also go to the message line, type a forward slash, and then select one of the commands that's available to you. Put in the phone number, and then hit send. When receiving a call on the Infinity One client, you'll have an indicator that will light up at the top right of the client, as well as an incoming notification on the bottom right. You may answer the call by pressing the handset button or the answer button. Once the call is established, you may process the call as you would any other call from a desk set, whether it be conferencing in another party or transferring the call to someone else. When you're finished, simply hang up the call using the icon and the call is completed. The status indicator of the UCX1 client will allow you to set your status or view the status of another user. Depending on the color of the icon and the state of the phone, you'll be able to see if the person is on the phone or busy or not available. You can click on your account up at the top and set your status for the status that you would like it to be.
Now we see that the icon has changed to busy and other users are going to see this user is busy. It will be the same if we changed it to away. You also have the option to change the status message into one you previously used or enter a new message to let other users know the status of your presence. Now you'll see it says out of the office. Change it back, simply go up and take it out and select no message or you can pick the edit history and then go through and pick the one you want or delete the ones that you don't need any longer. Simply hit the delete button and then say yes, delete it. Conversations in Infinity One are organized into chat rooms. There are four different types of rooms. Public channels are used for conversations that are open to all users to view and join. New users joining the channel can read all information previously published on the channel. Direct message channels are private one-to-one -one conversations between two users. When you send a chat message to another user, it is automatically a direct message. Direct messages are truly private and only the two parties involved in the direct message channel can view their messages. Private groups are private and not open to the public. It's visible only to their members of the private group. They can be joined by invitation only. Other than their visibility, private groups work similar to public channels. Private groups can be made public and public channels can be made private in the room info panel. Please watch for more videos from eMetroTel.